Hey, I'm Albo. I came to Japan as an English teacher, then moved near Tokyo to pursue my passions. I became a filmmaker because I love cars, Japanese culture, and a good story. I'm lucky enough to live the JDM dream, and so my videos are about my car life in Japan, where I go to car meets and visit shops, do track days and toge runs, build and review cars, and shoot vlogs, short films, and documentaries about Japan's car culture and history. Join me and my friends on our adventures and find out what it's really like in the land of the rising sun. So hop in, fasten your seatbelts, and enjoy the ride. この番組はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りしました。Good morning, guys. In today's video, we are going to Mobara Circuit here in Chiba. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere, and、uh, we are going to be taking the S2004. I guess really its track debut. I'm going to be meeting up with Stan and、uh, Yushi, and let's just go and have some fun. So right now, I'm just filling up. Gas is pretty expensive. It's like 185 or so. Yen per liter, but that's the price we pay for some good times. So let's just fill up and head over there the rest of the way once it's all done. Gozaimasu. 7,863 yen になります All right, so about 7,800 yen.、Uh, that actually wasn't as bad as I was thinking. Here we go. Just about eight minutes away. Looks like we're just about here. Drive right in. The boys are here. What's up? Yo, 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 yo! This looks like a fun day. Oh, hey, Sam. So, how late am I? Is everyone already packing up to leave? I think your class is running right now. Oh, so you have to wait a bit. I see.、But、I see. You have to get ready. You have to get the papers for you. Okay. Your... Oh, you don't and shit, so it's fine. Yeah. Yushi is in, but、yeah. uh, Ten and me has, haven't done anything yet, so. Okay. You're not that ready. All right, I gotta get my papers to tape onto the car. All right, boys, so today we are gonna be number 22, which is great because it's an S2000. I'm not really aiming to get like a super fast time today or anything. I just wanna feel the track. I wanna feel how the car feels like on, on, on the track. We are gonna drop the tire pressure. Today, I'm gonna run about two bar. As the day goes on, as the tires get hot, the tire pressure is gonna rise. I'll start at about two, and it'll probably rise to like 2.2 or so. All right, I also wanna check my oil. I actually just topped it off. How is it? It's fucking sketchy. I had to use like the handbrake to actually turn. The course itself was pretty sketchy. So the course is extremely like you have almost two hairpins. Yeah. So you, are, I have to use the side brake,、uh. which is the first time ever, and I hate it. So Ken was going around the track for a bit. How does the track feel? There's like a lot of tire rubber. I think it's just like tire gunk. Got to be careful at this course, huh? How did how did you feel, Yushi? You you clocked pretty fast time, right? Fifty nine. Fifty nine. Wow.、Um, I'm just getting used to the car, to be honest. Yeah, Sam. That's my goal today. Just want to get used to it. Overall, it's pretty good. Yeah, it looks super. It looks apart too. It looks sick. Fully stripped interior, which you guys might have seen in a previous video. Sick. All right, so we are. Well, I'm going to run my first run in the S1000. I can. Any any tips? It's pretty cold out, so、uh, it'll take some time to get heat into your tires. Yeah, just、uh, try and get some heat into them. Brake brake a little harder than usual.、Okay. Corner just a little harder than you would. You know, that way you'll get more grip. So it's、uh, a little counterintuitive how you have to kind of drive harder to get more grip.、Okay.
feels okay. It's so different driving this on the track versus on the toge because you have so much more road. And because you have so much more road, you can really feel the understeer and the oversteer, whereas usually you wouldn't, right? wide. Just turn. All right, turning a bit. Feel myself drifting. Okay, car feels really fun. I can control it. up a little bit. Just checking my oil temperatures. Mostly like second gear. Okay. so that was a lot of fun it was a little bit stressful especially at the part where after I spun you know, I kind of realized like the limit of grip in at least in that corner and it was a little bit lower than I expected the, the other thing that's quite interesting is how different the car feels at the track versus like on the toge because on a toge you know you're never pushing that hard getting that much angle that you're gonna lose the the, the, the grip unless you're going like really really hard but here even though I was going like maybe like six or seven tenths to be honest like I wasn't pushing it that hard still the corners were so wide that I could I could feel like if I was you know taking like an aggressive line going like out and out and I was uh, giving it like a lot of a lot of uh, like angle I could feel just the grip being a lot less than I expected even with like really really grippy 8008R tires. Now in the future, I'm actually going to be running a square sub. Uh, I already have the wheels for it. Uh, they're C28s uh, and it can be 255 square, 9.5 gen back, 9 in the front. Um, but right now, it's actually running relatively skinny tires for an S2000. It's running 215 front, 235 rears. Uh, it is very grippy 8008R tires, but I think, uh, and this, this setup is great for the Toge. It feels super good. But at the track, I feel like it's not enough. I don't have enough grip. But it's fun. It's a definitely a fun learning experience and I wanted to drive a setup. I wanted to ride this setup at the track so I can compare them back to back later. It's okay. It's not about being fast today. 
It's just about getting a feel for the car and getting a feel for how it controls that track. Why don't we do a walk around of the pit and let's just see what different cars are here. So starting over here with Yushi's Colt, the engine bay of this thing is super colorful, really cool. I love the vibe this, this thing has. Massive speed, three. Over here they call them the Excellus. This is Morisan's AP1, same year as mine, and this is running kind of similar setup to the one that I will be running in the future. Uh, this is running 9.5J, 245 square, I think. Actually, let me just check real quick. These are yeah, 245, 245 square. Oh, his interior looks sick. Oh, actually, look at that. I was thinking about getting that exact horn button. And that's one of the things I'm debating, or not debating, just trying to decide whether I'm gonna get the silver or red one because it's like a $200 part. It's pretty ridiculous. Over here, this RX-7 looks super nice, especially with that wide front fender. Looks like a racing factory Yamato, or maybe top secret, but I think RFY rear diffuser. Incredibly nice inside, look at that. I love the Takata harness with the red Brits or Recaros. Unfortunately, he had a little bit of a mishap and he lost his front lip, he went off. But at least the bumper is okay, bumper was saved. This thing looks super, super sick. Carbon, carbon hood. You can see he left this part exposed carbon, it looks super nice. There's a lot of Swift out here today. Honestly, I feel like these cars are the go-to like circuit and toge car these days because they're super cheap. They, these are like what the EK9s used to be five, 10 years ago. But that being said, you do have these cars still running out and about. This is Ken's new car. Uh, we'll talk about it more in future videos, but he actually has sold his R32. And now this is his is track track beast that thing looks like a monster yeah another swift over here look at that front caber uh, i'm not sure what this is but this looks like a really fun little missile to just beat around on the track uh, suzuki alto yeah these k cars are super cool man you can see another swift swift sport this is cool this is a trueno i believe I don't see these too often. Nice big oil cooler in the front. It's got some pretty skinny tires though, but it's uh, definitely a cool car. You really don't see a lot of these. I think they are pretty underrated. Once again, get another Swift. All right, let's see if we can get a nice shot of Ken as he drives by over here. Guys, this is just a beautiful, beautiful day. All right, here we go. Just as a, another track rat. It's looking good. RX-8. Altezza. EG Civics. That's very nice. More Swifts. Fit RS. DC-5. Setup, this whole setup was really cool. Oh, I especially like his blue arrow over here. That's that's a nice touch. FD2. This thing must be super fast here. Another Swift Indy Miata, and this is the Indy RF. 
you don't see these too often to track, so it's really cool to see this. That's really, really cool. Another Swift MRS. Now that is a good looking car, especially those T37s. FK8. This guy is a. Must be a baller. Uh, it's the second generation one, too. This thing looks so cool. I really like it now. Evo 5. Look how aggressive this beast looks. Another Fit RS. We got a VAB SCI, and we're back. That's pretty much it. Let's go see how he's doing. Bit of a spin? Who? <laughs> Who? Where? Somebody? What? Some French guy. Robinson? Ah, uh, must have. Yeah, I guess some other guy. Yeah. So, I did like three laps. Yeah. I was going all out. Yeah. And I was feeling the car slide. I was using the handbrake and everything. And yeah. I was like, I don't like this. I'm hurting the car. Not really yeah. hurting the car, but that's not good. That's not what I built it for. Yeah. So I was a bit like, yada. So let's do one more all out. So I did it. And then I was like, oh shit, I need to break here. And then, uh, well, rest is history. Yep. But, uh, all good. Did you, did you film it? Did you film the speed? No. <laughs> Unfortunately not. I saw the aftermath. We are gonna head to the community to get some food. Then once we get back, uh, we have a couple more sessions and then that's, that's gonna be it for the day. Then later tonight, I'm gonna head to Shogun to get the car cleaned up. Stan's coming with me because he's too lazy to put his license plate back. Okay, so I actually just grabbed lunch. Been here for about 30 minutes. I actually had to take like a work meeting. Long story, but I took the day off, but uh, there was some important meeting, so I just hopped on for that meeting and the other guys went back. So I'm just gonna bring my food back and uh, let's just head back. Man, this car looks so good. All right, we are back. Fortunately, I missed my last session third session but there is one last session this afternoon after 30 minutes here's my little setup over here great place to enjoy McDonald's while watching your friends go around the track What do you think? Fixable? Mm, if they, uh, if they uh, can fix the frame, yeah. You can always replace like the body parts. But, like when I scratched my first DC2, the frame was so bad. Yeah. Even though it didn't look that bad, but the yeah. frame was so bent that you couldn't do anything with it. So. Oh, awesome. Under it, probably. <laughs> oh man, that's like the fourth, third or fourth card that this track ate today. Yeah. But this one was really bad. Yeah. You could hear it from like in the pit. Look at this. He like launched. He was like, this is like, um, it's hard to see from the video, but this is a, like a, this is 
three or four foot. With my height, like average, very tall. Yeah, you should stand beside it down there. There you go. So, yeah, you're like what, like two meters? So that's like half of you. One, 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 one ninety with my hair. Damn, you're so tall. Dun, 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 Thanks to Stan. He walked all the way over there. All right, so we're wrapping up the day. I'm really glad all of our cars are able to just go home without incident. Stan's car. Looks like he pushed it pretty hard today, but we're going home okay. The Colt had a good track debut. I think he probably was faster than me, to be honest. Track debut of the Colt. This is track debut today. Nice. Kent 86. Looks really good out there. It's super fast. Good job guys. My fastest time was one minute. Thank you. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, we're gonna go to Umi Hotaru, so let's have fun. Have a good safe drive. We are now here at Umi Hotaru, the parking area in the middle of the ocean that looks like a giant cruise ship. That's hungry? It's it's so to eat. I was so sleepy on the way right? here. It, it was warm? Yeah. Like it's quiet? So nice. <laughs> I full on slapped myself in the oh. face. Oh. It was like, Finally, there's Umi Hotaru Gogo -go Curry, which is really, really good curry. Gogo -go Curry, look, it's Go Go Curry. Uh, whenever we go out and do stuff, usually it's like katsukari. Yeah, like katsukari right. is like the the go-to. So let's see if this delivers and if it's really better than all the other katsukaris that we Ruby. have Ruby. regularly. In Japan, going on a drive. Oh, this is a date. Yeah, right. right off. And then, oh, let's go to Starbucks. And you take her to the view, and like, she's you. Whoa, look at that view! Kirei desu! Kirei desu ne! Oh my god. That's, that's a gorgeous view. I wish my wife was here. All I got is my stand. I mean, that's, that's good enough, right? Yeah. Same thing. Can you say something poetic? Do you have anything to say about this moment right now? You break, then you downshift, and then you enter the corner. 
Go, go, curry, the monkey. Okay, let's go try it out. Nice sweet guy. What, what is that? Seashells. Seashell curry. That, that sounds really gross. That tomato curry looks pretty interesting though. Let's get the kotsu curry. That should be it. Okay, this one? The Taiwan curry? No, no, hang on. All, all star curry. Yeah, I don't want that. Why do you have that there? Oh, this looks good. This is on it. This is good. With sound effects and shit. Oh, mm. oishiso! Oishiso! Mm. That's good. This is crunchy and the curry taste is deep. And the rice is fluffy. Um. Deep again. The ocean? The ocean. <laughs> Alright, that was a good dinner. So we are gonna wrap up here and I'm actually gonna go to Shogun Auto to hang out with Jake, get the car detailed. So we'll head over there and we'll end the video over there. Alright guys, so I'm now here at Shogun Auto. Today was really, really awesome. Um, great to get the S1000 to the track and just really ring it out and it's really amazing how different it feels from driving it on the toge so there's a clear like in my mind now there's a clear delineation between like driving at the track versus driving on roads and you know what you might say that um it's safer to drive at the track my experience is actually you push the car harder and you get like much much more aggressive uh lines and, and angles so you it's much easier to get the back to slide out versus on a toge where you know, it's very, very, it's often quite tight and um, unless you're going super, super crazy, at which point you're like riding on the edge of death often, then you're not like, like you're not likely, you're not as likely to crash as if you are setting it pretty hard at the, at the track. So Mobara was a super fun experience. Hopefully next time we'll get to take the car somewhere like Ebisu or Scuba. And uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching this video and keep watching because we're gonna we're gonna detail the car because it is filthy. Let me show you how dirty the car is after the track day. Right now, this is a good 20 footer. So it looks good from 20 feet away, but right up close, you're gonna see it is pretty dirty. So the headlights, the hood is, yeah, you can see it's got all these uh, rain marks on it. All kinds of dirt all around it. Fender in person. It looks 10 times worse than this. Gross. Right there. The wing is pretty gross too. And the back is probably the worst right now. All right, so my friends here at Shogun are gonna clean up the car. If you guys live in Tokyo, make sure to check out their shop. I'm gonna put a link in the description box. These guys are awesome. They always take care of me and my cars. You guys will not be disappointed. So make sure to check it out if you live in Tokyo.
So the car is all done. Can't believe how good this car looks. Can you guys believe that this is a 20 year old car cleaned up? It literally looks like it could roll out the showroom floor in 2022. Thank you so much to the boys here at Shogun. Make sure to check out the description. And now we're just gonna go hang out. We're gonna go like play golf or something. We're gonna go to a driving range to see where the night takes us. But not too late because it is actually a work night and uh, the wife is gonna be a little bit angry if I'm not home at a reasonable hour, like before 3 a.m. should be fine. Big Jackie, what a, what a dude, what a baller. All right, let's swing some golf clubs. I actually really, really suck. The car is looking sick. The boys at Shogun did a hugely amazing job. <laughs> so you're gonna, you're gonna teach us how to Golf? Teach me how to golf. How the to swing is, club. The thing is, I gotta teach myself how to play golf right now. Okay. I kind of forget. <laughs> this guy's way too humble. He's always like, I can't drive, no, I can't no, no, do I anything. Can't, yeah. You know what? Right now, I feel like we're in like a Yakuza movie. So Jackie passed me his his seven iron, seven iron. And let's just let me just show you my technique, okay? <laughs> Oh, what the fuck is this? No! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you know, you should be the coach, man, not us. Turns out I can sometimes swing it really well, so I guess today I've got really good beginner's luck. But that was a lot of fun, and huge thanks to Jackie for giving me all sorts of tips. I was uh, able to surprise myself. I'm, I'm gonna end the video here. Any last words? <laughs> okay, <laughs> See you yeah, in so good I'll again. <laughs> Jake, Jake's so salty. I, I've apparently discovered my second calling in life, so yeah, this channel is gonna become a golf channel. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, see you guys. Bye.